Hey guys, my goal has always been to teach you the most mechanical strategies. And you know, I've never really insisted that you need daily bias to be trading profitably. But if you can implement, you know, daily bias and the order flow or the overall trend, you can basically increase your win rate. Now you know, you would normally get around 50% win rate without implementing the daily bias technique that I'm about to teach you in this video. But if you implement this method in whichever model you trade. So for example, in the last couple of days, I've uploaded my gold strategy, and it has been working phenomenally for a lot of people. Now, if you implement this technique that I'm about to teach you right now, your win rate can significantly go up and you can trade this with any other pair or asset as well. So you might see this and you see, might think that, this is confusing, but don't worry, as usual, I'm gonna clarify everything and make it easier for you guys. So, on the daily time frame, first of all, what you have to do is mark out the PD array. Now, what is a PD array? PD array is any high? It is any low, right? It could be a fair value gap, could be an order block, could be a breaker block, could be an inverse fair value gap. Could be a reaper, could be a BPR, whatever. That is called PD array. So now, on the daily time frame, let's see suppose that this is where you are on this day. Now, on the next day, what you're doing is anticipating that price will go into the PD array. Now, this is option one. The option two is that price is already inside the PD array. And then you're waiting for the next candle to open inside the PD array. Option one, let's suppose that this is where you're looking at and this is the opening price of the next day, right? So on the next day, what you are basically looking for is the, you know, accumulation phase. And then you're looking for a manipulation phase into the PD array. Now, I'm going to teach you a method to actually measure the manipulation move. So you would be able to successfully made the correct manipulation move. So, first of all, what we have to do is mark out the opening price of the next daily candle. So that is the opening price that I've marked out. So I. When you have marked out the opening price, you are simply going to the 15 minutes time frame. So this is how the 15 minutes chart is going to look like. So on the 15 minutes time frame, you are first of all looking for a, you know, in the accumulation phase, you will see a manipulation as well. So over here you can see we have accumulation and then we have a tiny bit of manipulation. Don't worry about this. All right. All you're basically looking for in the manipulation leg is basically a higher high, higher low, and then a higher high, and then a market structure shift. Now, once you get the market structure shift, once you get the market structure shift, you are using the standard deviation tool. So when you have a, you know, a higher high, higher low and higher high, you mark your fib from the last high that was formed to the last low right before market structure shift, and you will get these projections. So negative 2 and negative 2.5. Now that is from where price is going to distribute towards the upside. So what we are doing here is we are measuring the manipulation move first. So we have accumulation and then we have the manipulation move. Now and when we are not using this technique, we have no guarantee where the manipulation move is going to end. But we use this method to identify where the manipulation move is going to end. And in this case, it is the negative 2 and negative 2.5. Now pair it up with PD array so you can see price tapped into the PD array. And on the 15 minutes time frame we also have the daily PD array and price tapped into it. Now, we will not be confirmed about our bias unless we get a market structure shift to the upside. So over here you can see we got a market structure shift. Now, once you get the market structure shift, that is going to confirm that. We are not going to distribute towards the upside. Now you might ask, how do we actually measure the distribution? Where is the distribution going to end? And it is very simple. All you have to do is use your fib from the last low that was formed to the last high that was formed before market structure shift. So this low and this high and you can see we get a projection of negative 2 and negative 2.5. Now, this is where price can reverse from or it can retrace. Now, it is not always going to reverse from this level, there is no guarantee. But this is from where price mostly reverses. Or it can pull back and then push back up again. So when you get a market structure shift, 
right, your bias is going to be bullish until this level is hit right here. Now, this by itself is an entire model as well. Now here is option 2, where the price is already inside the PD array. So let's assume that this candle right here has always been in the PD array. Now we're going to wait for the next candle to open. So now when the next candle opens here, what you are anticipating is the similar move. And basically it's going to look something like this. It's going to look something like this. So let me just do this. You're going to get the manipulation to the downside and then you're going to have a distribution to the upside. So this PD array is going to look something like this on the 15 minutes time frame. So the next day, what you have to do is simply mark out the opening price. While price is already inside the PD array, the daily PD array. This could be an order block, could be a fair value gap, could be a breaker block, could be high and low that is swept. Now, once you have your price in the PD array, you look for the same setup. So this is how it's going to look like we're going to have accumulation and then we're going to have manipulation. This wick is the manipulation. But to measure the manipulation move where it's going to end, we use the standard deviation projection. So from this high to this low, we're going to use our standard deviation tool. And negative 2, negative 2.5 is from where price is going to reverse and give you the distribution phase. So this wick can be made accurately with this method. Now similarly, you would look for a market structure shift and then on the 15 minutes time frame, what you can basically do is you can look for your trading model, whatever you trade, right? You can basically trade the ABC at turtle soup to the upside. You can basically take long from the fair value gap that forms. Now, just because your bias is correct, doesn't mean that you're going to lose a trade. So the best entry is going to be the first and the second one. So basically your entry could be somewhere around here from this fair value gap on the 15 minutes time frame. Now, what you can do is to confirm it even further, is you can basically just wait for price to come into the 15 minutes PD array, then look for a one minute confirmation and take your entry. Now, the second entry would be after you get a market structure shift, you get another break of structure, right? And while your standard deviation projections are still intact. So from this low to this high, you can basically take another trade from this PD array and target this level over here. Now, talking about the gold strategy. If you get, you know, this setup before the 8 p.m. So if you, if you are familiar with the gold system, you, we always look for a purge on the low, recent low or recent high that is formed before 8 p.m. Now, if this type of pattern occurs before that, and you get a purge at 8 p.m. like this, the manipulation purge, we have accumulation, then we have manipulation into inside the PD array. Right. You get the feel what I'm saying, right? You must understand, if you have watched the gold strategy, you will understand what I'm saying, right? Now, similarly, you would do the same if you're looking to short, right? So price is already inside the PD array or you are waiting for price to manipulate inside the PD array. So if it's already in the PD array, you look for accumulation, manipulation, and then distribution. We may have the manipulation move by using, you know, if you have the accumulation inside the manipulate, inside the accumulation phase, look for the, you know, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, and then a market structure shift. So inside the accumulation phase, we get a market structure shift. So to confirm, to mirror the manipulation move. Now, accumulation, manipulation distribution, we use our standard deviation tool, from the last low that was formed to the last high that was formed before the market structure shift. Now you do, you do not want to be trading this because sometimes what can happen is price will give you a market structure shift over here, but then price can simply reverse and then give you another market structure shift. And then you have to measure the standard deviation from this low to this high. Now by now, I hope that is clear. Let me give you guys some examples, and then we will end the video. So here is example 1. And you can see I'm looking at NAS 100, and just around here, we have the fair value gap. So this is a PD array. So keep this in mind. Right. So I'm just gonna mark this out like this. Just gonna give it a color, you know, this, and that's it. So this is a fair value gap. 
Now, this is going to be the opening price of the next day. So if you look at this, we opened actually just around here. And then we manipulated to the downside. We mitigated this fair value gap. So let's study what happened here on this candle. So we have the opening price right. Now let's drop down to 15 minutes time frame. You can see that this right here is the opening price. And we are anticipating that price is going to tap into the daily PD array. So now we are going to measure the manipulation move first. So look at it here, right? We have a first of all, we got a market structure shift here. So if I use my fib from this, actually, we got the first one just around here, the tiny bit. Now we want to use our Fibonacci from the last high to the last low. And you can clearly see price didn't come into the negative 2 and negative 2.5. And we also didn't reach the PD array. Now we got another purge of the liquidity. And then we have a higher high, higher low, higher high. And then we finally get a market structure shift over here. Now, we can use our fib to measure the manipulation move. And you can see the precision over here. We tapped into the negative 2 and negative 2.5 level. And we also mitigated the daily fair value gap. Now our manipulation phase is over. So now, to confirm our bias, all we are now looking for is another market structure shift. Right, so this right here is when we get a shift in the structure. Now, this is not a clean shift in the structure because we have a wicket. But I still would consider it. However, over here, we have a body closure. And then you can see that how price just kept going up. So this could be your first entry from this order block. Right. And you can then basically take. Keep taking your entry. So, for example, body closed above here, tapped into this order block. Boom, right there. Price came back retested this level, and then you can see that price just kept going up for the rest of the day. And then the new day starts and you can anticipate the next, the next day distribution with the same technique and the same method. Let's move on to the next example. Alright guys, so here is another example. And you can see I'm looking at NAS 100 on the daily. So we have the PD array marked out. This is a fair value gap. And over here I'm waiting for the next day to open and I'm anticipating that price will tap into this fair value gap. Now on the next day, you can see that the candle opened, we manipulated to the downside, hit the PD array and then we distributed to the upside. Now let's study what happened, right? So let me just go to the daily time frame first and let me just mark out the, the opening price. So this is the opening price over here. Now I'm just going to go to the 15 minutes time frame, right? And you can see that we have the open, then we pushed up and then we had a shift in the market structure somewhere around here. So we have a higher high, higher low, higher high shift in the structure. Now we can measure the manipulation move. So using our fib from the last high that was formed to the last low before the market structure shift. And then you can basically see that price tapped into the PD array. It tapped into the negative 2 and negative 2.5%. And then afterwards, what do we have? We have a shift in the market structure. So we get our bias in the New York session, right? And then when we get the market structure shift, we have this order block and price tapped into it. And look at this beautiful delivery to the upside. And we kept going up for the rest of the day. So this is the beauty of this strategy. You know, this is the beauty of this daily bias method. You can basically take entries on the lower time frame as well. You can also see that we tapped into this fair value gap while our bias was bullish. And if we use our standard deviation tool to measure the distribution phase, what we can do is simply just use the last low that was formed to the last high that was formed before market structure shift. And you can see price distribution distributed perfectly to the negative 2 negative 2 and negative 2.5 zone. So this is the accuracy that I want to teach you guys. End this video. If you implement this into your system, into your trading strategies, then you're going to thank me forever actually. Okay. Thank you so much for watching.